Hello ladies and gentlemen, here you can see me doing a mural that I did a while ago, video on my channel, um, of a painting called I Bet Your Totoro. Uh, when I do these murals outside the street art, I like to also do a canvas version because I can get more detail, you know, there's no rain, there's no wind and there's no alcohol involved, so it usually turns out better. So here is the canvas that I've chucked down, stapled to a piece of wood and then I'm putting on the first layer. Uh, this is the base layer, the base colours. Um, just to make up uh, what all the rest is going to go on top of. Uh, the, uh, this is a tulip blue, a light tulip blue, I believe, and then the uh, face, uh, the Totoro hat or helmet, and the rest of the body will all be in this grey, which I think is a pebble grey. Um, if you've been watching a lot of my videos, you'll know the idea, the concept behind this, which is this where people arm themselves in an apocalypse with uh, things from their postmodern culture. Uh, these people who are wearing the Totoro helmets, in theory, are the mages, so think Final Fantasy. I mean, it's a ridiculous concept, but, you know, all good concepts or uh, all concepts are ridiculous. <laughs> uh, this is the first layer. Um, this is the midtones. Uh, using a darker tulip blue. I think it might be called dark tulip blue. I can't quite remember the name of the color. Um, and the grays, which is going to be in a uh, blue-gray middle, which is a belt-on color. Um, as you can see, I'm using like a little uh, spatula. Is it spatulas? I call it palette knives, palette knives. I use a palette knife just to push down the stencil, and there's just a little bit of wood that I use to push down the stencil. Anything to weigh the stencil into the canvas, just so you don't get any underspray happening. Um which is the, one of the big advantages being able to paint this in the studio is you can get your lines a lot sharper. Um, and just filling in. So you can see her there, her going grrr at the uh, viewer with her cool blue hair and her Totoro hat. Um, weighing it down again, here's some uh, floor samples. <laughs> uh, this is the black layer, the detail, the uh, shadow. Um, the, the thing that really gives it the style I like, this comic book look. Uh, deep black, I think this is called. Um, and then I'm just going back in, filling in the... Uh, Oh, actually, I'm uh, doing the outlining in uh, Posca pens. If you've ever used a Posca pen, it's like a, a pen with paint in, really, a paint pen. <laughs> um, they're not as nice and glossy as spray paint. It doesn't have that nice sheen to it, but they're, they're pretty good. Uh, you can control them, obviously, a lot better than you can control a um, spray can, and also it dries a lot faster than acrylic does, so I do use them quite a bit. Um, now we're doing the final layer, uh, the final layer before I put this onto the canvas. This layer is the highlights. Uh, in this case, white, just lots of white, really, for the cheeks, the teeth, the uh, end of the fingers, the eyes. And uh, I think, there we go. Oh, see, look at the difference that layer makes. That layer just pops it all out and really, really gives it this dynamic look, which I love, this this stylistic look. Um, I've just painted in Totoro's eyes with some white paint. And then it looks like I'm going with another Posca, a blue Posca, uh, just to do the whiskers. Um, so I'm trying to take the colors that are in the hair blue and feed them into the um, hat, uh, Totoro's hat, to um, get it all connected. I don't want it disconnected. I don't want it to look like two separate items or two separate identities or two separate characters. I want it to look like, oh, there's Totoro and there's a girl. I want them to be together. I want them to be part of the same. Um, and here I'm drawing some little patches on. I was watching Nightmare for Christmas the night before, I think. So this is very sad from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and as you can see in the background, I'm doing some swirls and some uh, leaves, which, um, here you go, I did not like. <laughs> and I took them out because they looked crap. <laughs> um, and now this is all defining, adding more hair into the black um, and then uh, adding more detail in with the pens again to the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the um, sort of the flares on the eyes. This is all stuff you could have done on the stencil, but I much prefer going in um, and doing this with either uh, paint pens, uh, spray paint or uh, acrylic. Um, here the paint pens weren't bright enough, so I'm going back in with some white acrylic just to make those patches pop. Um, and I love how those patches look because they automatically take away Totoro from being, you know, Totoro to being um, a piece of clothing, a piece of garment. Um, and I think I do put some like stitch marks on it. I can't remember if I did. I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> anyway, highlighting the eyes as always, doing the teeth as always, and she's really coming together. So you can see that this, this, um, Oh, I put. Oh, I missed that. See, I've got some um, stitches on the ears, and I put some like little fake fluff just to make it look very toy-like. Um, and she's roughly done here. This beautiful uh, mashup of stencils and painting and drawing and everything all together. I just love how it all comes together at the end. Um, the problem I have with some stencils art is it looks a bit flat and lifeless. And there it is. <laughs> See, look how cool it is. Expression. I love the expression, and the expression on the girl also is really cool as well. This sort of. Um, happy confused totro face and this grrr, you know, it, it's a it's a it's a war and they're, they're ready for it um anyway 
So there is a canvas version of a wall I did in this painting. is called I Bet Your Totoro, which is just a line from Totoro. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't really know if what I say is worthwhile. Maybe let me know if you like me talking because I don't like me talking because I sound very monotone and a bit boring. But um, if that's not a reason to subscribe, I don't know what is. So please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.